Welcome to Hey EWI. I am RJ City, and my guest is Matt Hardy. Hey. Hey, RJ. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm better now that I'm surrounded by your energy. Oh, thank you. Ever slap a tornado? Uh, a, a couple of times. Mm -hmm. It used to be my, my specialty. As I've, as I've gotten a little older, I've moved on to different natural disasters. A gust, maybe? Uh, taking it easy on the wrists? Well, no, no. We, we, we are strong with the tornadoes. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sure we slap you... them and slam them. Yeah. Just in case you don't know what the word is. We, we slap tornadoes and we slam tornadoes. You slap and slam? Yes. Does the tornado go up easy or is the tornado a bit of a sandbag? Uh, it's a bit of a sandbag. Yeah. yeah. I'm tornadoes sure, aren't easy. Sure, a hurricane's a bit of a sandbag sometimes too. Here's hurricane a Matt fact. Hurricane is the biggest sandbag I've ever met in my life. Well, that goes on record. Here's a Matt fact. You went to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte to major in engineering. That is a Matt fact, and that not Matt fiction. No, no, it's a fact. And it comes in handy when you're setting up, stacking tables and positioning ladders, and you're like, mm -hmm. eh, that kind of thing. Because yeah. I watch you set up stuff, and I go, there's an engineer. Exactly. I yes. mean, if, uh, if I wasn't going to be a wrestler in the ring, I was going to build the wrestling rings. Mm, that would have just, you build two rings in North Carolina, you're like, okay, we're done. <laughs> and another Matt fact, do you know who else went to that school? Mm. American Idol runner-up, Clay Aiken. Okay. Tell okay, me about okay. your party days with Clay. You two must have got up to some trouble. Oh boy. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm pretty sure we were from different generations. Uh huh. But I'm so sure you taught him. You showed him the ropes. You said, Clay, yeah, come under my wing. Well, that's what I do. These young kids. Yes. You got to take them under your wing. You got to yeah. teach them how to respect the yeah. the uh, the traditions. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, respect the process. Right. It's much like pro wrestling. Yes. So. And then when he lost to Ruben, I'm sure you were there for him. Oh, of course. He's a good kid, though. Yes. Uh, speaking about uh, building rings, during your trampoline wrestling days, you sent an audition tape to another company down yes. south where uh, large people like to have fun, let's just say, <laughs> and your name was High Voltage. Correct. Then they steal the name from you. Yes. They have a tag team called High Voltage. Mm -hmm. Have you ever run into rage or chaos and said, hey, what the hell? No, I, I haven't, but I would like to. Still? Rage, chaos, yeah. if Hold you're out now. there, yeah. you know, you still owe me for gimmick infringement. Yeah, I'm sure Tony will book them. This will be a good feud. Your <laughs> first televised match was against Nikolai Volkov. That is correct. What did you learn from him? <laughs> uh, a very funny story about Nikolai Volkov. Mm. So it's uh, about my ninth or tenth match in an actual solid full ring. Yeah, because you were a trampoline boy. You were Cirque du Soleil. Look trampoline, what I do. At first, but when we first started wrestling, it was a half real ring, half trampoline right. in the middle. Right. So we did... Uh, Probably seven, eight, nine, ten matches on that. Mm -hmm. Then we had regular matches. And then this, Nikolai Volkov was like the man that gravity remembered. Yes, yeah. but also my first match against Nikolai Volkov, I remember Tony Guerrero was the agent, and he came up to me and said, I'll tell you what, kid, this is on live TV. He said, if you mess this up tonight, you will never, ever come back here again. Your career is over. Do not mess up. Nikolai comes up to me shortly thereafter. He goes, oh, hey, kid, uh, very easy. He said, we're in, in live match. He said, I mess up all the time. Don't worry, no sweat. And I'm going, oh my God, what am I going to do? You know, they just told me, if I mess up, I'll never right. come back. And he said, oh, we're going to mess up because I mess up every match. Right. So uh, that was uh, quite the nerve wracking. Yeah. And I didn't realize Nikolai Volkov was young. French either. <laughs> You've gone through so many versions of yourself. I have. Which versions. one are we on now? And when you do a version and then you do another version, then you go back to the version, is that still the same version? Or is right. it a new version of that version? Right now we're in version over prom. Mm. You're, you're inverted. Yeah, but it's over. It's like, we're, the over, prom's here, it's over prom. It's, it's over, over prom? prime. Yeah. Oh, I see, you're talking about math. That's what we're doing. Is that what oh, you're yeah, doing? No, like a prime, prime be, number kind being of thing? middle-aged and crazy. Whatever. Okay, yes, You know, there's enough. prom, and then there's over prom. You've been woken, you've been broken. When are we gonna get poking Matt Hardy? You walk around with a big stick or something. <laughs> okay, you're right. Choking Matt Hardy. Oh, really uh, good, <laughs> really good. Uh, we might get talent. down the road. I worry about your ability to spell, because you came up in the late 90s, early 2000s. Yes. Everybody's spelling things with X's and Z's. Oh, boy. And then around 2003, everyone went, that's stupid, let's just stop. <laughs> Is it a hard habit to break for you? Uh, not, not terribly hard, but uh, there's a lot of times I'll misspell words, and mm. ho fortunately, spell checks there for me. Yes. I'll put a Z instead of an S. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, I, I'm, I'm, like I, sometimes I mix up my plurals. Ho! I'm back, baby, that kind of thing. Ho with a Z. You have a very famous brother that also wrestles, Barry Hardy. Yes. He was an enhancement talent. He mm -hmm. teamed with Dwayne Gill. Do you ever think we'll see him in AEW? Uh, well, hopefully we'll bring Uncle, Uncle in one day. Uncle? He's yeah. your uncle? Oh, okay. Metaphorically. Sure. Oh, like the brother-brother <laughs> way? Where wrestlers, yeah. wrestlers say, oh, he's my brother, and it really means this is someone I don't yeah, like. Yeah. What's up? How you doing, Uncle? Good to see you, Uncle. I see. You know, that's how we greet Yeah, you. and he Just... calls you a nephew or something. Yeah. Remember when you did your first cinematic match, and everyone was like, 
this is stupid. And then the pandemic happened, and then you were like, oh, it's not so stupid now, huh? Got their ass. Yeah, you were you like the B Brian De Palma kind here, of thing. Here, here's the curve. Yeah. I was over here ahead of it. Yes, and you're like, you, now you appreciate me when all you have is a GoPro in a backyard. Exactly, Now you'll yeah. take me seriously. Yeah. When the world shuts down, here's how you do a wrestling Yes. Match. You were also a pioneer of drones in wrestling. I was. Do you think a decade from now, there'll be so many wrestlers using drones in their matches that you'll be like, hey kids, slow it down. Make the drone mean something. <laughs> Probably so. Uh, th they'll definitely be using it for that beautiful shot, that beautiful overhead shot. Yes, I, they think they need some better drone psychology. I'm still mad at Jericho. Because of the drone thing? He, he Or because he drones? He, no, he killed my drone. Yeah. And, so I'm, and, I'm still very upset. And rest in peace. Thank you, rest in peace, Vanguard. We miss you. He's up there. I guess flew away. I guess. He's, he's up there with all the other drones, brother. Well, then he's not broken. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's. He would be in the ground if he was dead. If he flew away, he's still working. Yeah, well, he. Uh, yeah, figured exactly. Really. Caught you there. <laughs> Metaphorically. If I had to take a dip in the lake of reincarnation, yes. who would I become? Dalton Castle. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. You like it. how quick that answer was? Yeah, that was yeah. really. He's kind of like the opposite the end. Peacock, he's the yeah. bizarro me. Yeah, yeah. You know, if Brutus Beefcake fell in, he'd probably just drown. They wouldn't know what to do with him. They're right. like, ah, the lake would just explode or something. <laughs> that whole broken universe. Yes. Was it the peak of creative expression in pro wrestling, or were you just making up as you went along? A little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, we were definitely making it up as we went along, but we tried to have some uh, meaning behind the madness. Yes. But it, I, I will tell you this. Uh, my first run as Broken Matt Hardy was the most fun I've ever had in my career. Mm. And now you're at, what, a jog or a sprint? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm in a, a light sprint. Okay, a little, just, <laughs> just to get some sweat going. One moment that really inspired me was your performance on that 70s show. Mm. Any memories of Wilder Valderrama? Uh, everybody was cool on the show. Yeah. Uh, and I do remember I was wrestling my brother in a, uh, in a, in a choreographed match, not like real wrestling, sure. not like AEW, a choreographed match for, for television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we had to do these moves, and it ended with a big backdrop, uh, a big backdrop mm. on him like 10 times. Uh, so obviously that was pretty, and it was like shooting back to back to back to back right. to back to back to back. So we did 10 matches in one and ended up getting the 45 seconds of footage. And you're not actually credited in it. So they must have thought it was a little sloppy. Well, but it was our first gig too. Uh, well, and then you, boom, took off. It was, and now it, when you it, see- It was uh, our launching pad. Yes, I'll say. That's where I remember you most from. You know, you, before, before we got a big push with yes. WWE, I, I was gonna sign with that 70s show and be a regular. That's fantastic. Returning character. In the Red Foreman little faction there. Yeah, yeah That's exactly. Great. You were also on an episode of Fear Factor, and you won. Yes, fear was not a factor for me. Did, very good. Did you have an inkling then that the host would turn out to be such a lightning rod of controversy? <laughs> no idea. No? When you were hanging from a helicopter or drinking blended up spleens, you never thought, hey, maybe this is a guy I shouldn't be listening to? Maybe he's giving me bad advice? Mm, I, I didn't know then, but if I could have seen the future. Yeah. Wow, things changed quite a bit. Yeah, you're like, oh yeah, that guy. Give him a bigger platform. And everyone's gonna be drinking spleens. It's so bizarre. <laughs> you have so many children. I do, a you, gaggle of children. Are you trying to start a faction? Yes. Run a promotion? Well, if I get one more, we got a basketball team. So That's we're, great. We're, we're working it out. We, we're going we're gonna to first go the to hoop and hardies. a basketball team, and mm -hmm. then we'll maybe shoot for a baseball team after that. And then no wrestling? With You're going to steer them away? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to be like uh, Fritz von Eric. Steer them away. I'm going to make, make all, all my money off my boys. Okay. The girl, maybe not so much. No, maybe not so much. I understand that. Uh, do you ever look back and realize how little faith they originally had in the Hardys because your theme music was stock music that you could also hear in commercials on MTV? It still is stock music. I know, but so you really- very little faith in the Hardys. <laughs> but if I came out there and my theme was generic rock beat 12, I'd quit. Dun, 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 you know? Dun, 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 Aren't you dun, just dun, like- dun, 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 But do you ever put on the TV back then and hear a Stridex, Stridex commercial oh, and you're like- Everywhere. And you're like, that's my song. Yeah. But now you've, you've blocked them from it. Well, they just, it wasn't very important to No, them. but now you've really turned it around. <laughs> Twist of fate. Yes. Do you believe in destiny? I do. I, I think uh, there, there are some things that are destined to happen. Mm. I once ran into Greg Valentine at a hardware store. That was certainly destiny. Kismet. Think about that. <laughs> I know you also host a podcast with what, Idris what Alba. What was what? he buying that day? Hammers. Okay. Just checking. I know you also host a podcast with Idris Alba called The Extreme Life. And it's so interesting that a wrestler would have a podcast. And it, it is interesting. It's almost like an anomaly in the stand. And what do you do? Oh, that ladder was high. That table hurt. That kind uh, of thing. 
I, I try and give a lot of insight. Yes, yeah, like, so, so what I just said. Really, really, The exactly. ropes were really like, bouncy and then they tightened them and they were tighter what, and oh. What you just said. Yeah. But I try and be, uh, I, I, I think when it comes to podcasting, I'm one of the few guys that mm -hmm. is still actually active on a current roster, mm -hmm. uh, a still active performer, and I'm able to get in here and give insight into this stuff and then say things like that. The ropes were really tall. Yeah. The ladder was really high. This was a very hard fall through this table. Yeah. So, and people will enjoy that. Yeah. They enjoy I that insight so. from I, a, a current performer. I certainly try to. Well, this has been a frolic. Oh, well, thank you. And, I love and, frolicking. Good. Down by the riverside, mainly. Oh, wow. What a musical mind you have. I, uh, I want to say, I think you're Matt Hardy version fun, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, OK. And before we go, you do this wonderful, beautiful yell before you do your leg drop, before you do your big moves. And I had perhaps thought, it's always the same note, and I love it. Yeah. Maybe you could do it, and I could perhaps harmonize on top of it. Oh, that'd be great. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> you need a minute? We have to uh, lift our hands, too. You have to do the sounds. Okay, is this like a Boy Scout Just thing? act like they're guns. You okay. ready? Here we go. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> you have good lungs on you. <laughs>